We've 395 acres of ground and 120 acres of grassland, uh, plowable land, and the remainder kind of hill, which is quite exposed. We're just three, three to four miles west of Thurzo here, right in the north coast. So uh, if we're getting a north wind, you know you're getting a wind. <laughs> Challenge is uh, making silage is, is the weather. You know, if, if we were guaranteed a lovely July and August, we could all make lovely hay, which would reduce our cost dramatically. I'm looking for as good a silage as I can get. You know, a try until, well, learn on the whole time if we can, and try until make as good a stuff as we possibly can. Since we've started it, you know, you've been, you know, shift until eight layers of silage wrap, do them whatever we could, and even, you know, cutting our grass, making sure that we're trying to cut our grass in an afternoon rather than a morning or evening to ensure that we get the best sugars in our grass, you know. My silaging process would be, you know, we'd be fertilising the ground, uh, you know, sort of early June, and uh, hopefully taking a cut of silage mid-July. Wilted a wee bit uh, to, to get a wee bit of drying if it's wet weather, and obviously trying to get a good weather window to, to get it. This last two years has been very difficult. We've had really, really wet weather in July, and in fact, this July was probably wetter than last July. You know, it just, uh, it, we, we just managed to get a period where we, we got a job done. A lot of my neighbours have been asking, what's this uh, goldy coloured wrap or funny coloured wrap you're using? What's with this? So, uh, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I was encouraged by Silo Stock when I first met the Silo Stock people at AgriScot last year. I was, uh, I'm always keen and watching like at a Highland show for silver medal awards and things like that, innovation and ideas. And I saw Silo Stop had this uh, new silage wrap and I went along to their stand. I was very interested in it. What appealed to me most of all was that they, 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 they them seeing how good it would uh, keep air out of getting into your bale and make a better silage bale and dramatically reduce, hopefully, the problems of listeria in our livestock because we have a bit of problem. Some years, maybe one or two ewes we go down with listeria. Other years I've seen us with several ewes taking it and it's, it's quite frustrating when you're in a way of keeping livestock going and you know you get some ewes close to lambing goes down. It's a big loss because it could be several ewes carrying pairs of lambs. It's a lot of money you know and making silage is expensive so uh, I did feel that when you're going to a, a, a length of making really good grass, cutting it the best you can, wilting it the best you can, and trying to make it with as good a baler as you can to get a good hard bale, and then you let your shell down by possibly no putting the best wrap you possibly can on it. I think uh, it's a bit of false economy. Yeah, well, because we're on a very exposed ground, when our, our ewes go to the hill, in early December, we, we generally start feeding silage then to them, you know, and it's just in the exposure that they need their bite. And what we've shifted to again to try and improve our silage, we've bought one of us the Tanko bale slicers, and instead of going up with several bales every second day or third day, we have gone to using a, a Tanko splitter, and it means that we put half a bale in one feed ring, half a bale in another feed ring. And I think it's actually, it has helped the sheep too. We, we got our bales analysed uh, a couple of months back. The uh, boy comes along and, you know, I never thought much about the bales, you know, just to me it was, it was wrapped and was sitting there. And the boy came along and says, oh, well analyse your silage bales. And uh, he came along and uh, he, we, we cut a wee corner open in a bale. And uh, I was really surprised. The smell of stuff was incredible and the, the colour of it was really, really nice. So I was quite excited by it and we've had several farmers visiting on different occasions so one bale got quite assaulted. <laughs> We'd opened it up a bit several times to show people and they just couldn't believe the colour and smell that was coming off it. This is our normal bales of silage here and this bale has this new polythene wrap they're, they're, they're all done with McHale um, balers, like, you know, so 
it's quite it's quite a good bail, but it's it's a bit weight maybe, you know. So I uh, uh, yes, it's the new stuff, sort of like silo stock, and the the only difference with this stuff is that it's neat wrap, but it seems like it's shape a bit better. See, you know, but see anyway, the difference in it. We'll keep the bail here. Really stuff. You know? Now, what do you think of there, sir? He's done a right job, that stuff I would say. That's like it'll be six layer, eh? Six layers on both, sir, I'll lie. Take a wee bit back to you here. It makes you look at the colour difference. I'm, I'm quite excited about feeding the sheep with stuff this winter. But I think it's a great product for farmers. Thank you.